Hey guys, so here we are still entering a video the Shingon Lego Blade Marvel Iron Man Detroit Steel Strike set. So this is the box here. So you can see it is a uh, pretty tall and yeah, it's a superhero set. So you can see it's a uh, recommended for just six six year craft and this set S Y eight seven five and comes with four hundred and seventeen pieces. And includes cream figures, which are Agent, Agent Coulson, Justin Hammer, and also Invincible Iron Man. So you got a really nice um, picture of the uh, Avengers there of the cartoon, and uh, this is the top. You got Iron Man there as well, and the bottom, the side shows you the Detroit Steel. And also the other side, which shows you the Lola, and the back here, so it shows you all the features, and a part of uh, Iron Man, Lego Iron Man uh, Kree uh, comic book. And yeah, so that's it for the box. So just like all the like other uh, big sets, uh, it does come with a uh, crate inside, which is very common. But yeah, that's just that. So this is the instruction manual here, and you know nothing quite special about it actually. But you know there's the final page of the build, which is a hundred. So yeah, that's great, and yeah, this is uh, the back. So just shows you the back of the box. Nothing so special. So yeah, that's it for the instruction manual. So these are all the uh, extra pieces. So the, there are quite a lot of uh, extra pieces. So yeah, that's great, I guess. But you know, you got like a lot of um, these uh, stud pieces because you know they they have to be used for the um, the six stud shirt on the Detroit steel, and you know you got these transparent studs, and you know. All these studs, I guess, but yeah, you got this lever, uh, cylinder piece, extra hands, uh, one one by one towel, round towel, uh, technique pieces, connectors, uh, axle axle pieces, and also finally this uh, scarlet witch blast piece or the Iron Man blast piece. So yeah, that's pretty nice to get, but. Yeah, that's it for the extra pieces. So the first main figure here is uh, Agent Coulson. So you can see he's armed with this uh, Alien Conquest pistol, and yeah, you can see uh, his face here. You got a microphone, and you know he's uh, kind of speaking, I guess. But the torso printing here looks uh, pretty formal, pretty great. Uh, but it's kind of bad that it doesn't have a shield badge. Uh, it is a good thing and a bad thing because uh, if it doesn't have a shield badge, uh, you can use it on like other figures. So yeah, that's great. But yeah, uh, you got a tie in the middle and you got this badge. Uh, you got some buttons, uh, no leg printing though. But you know, uh, the bag just a little bit of printing and the uh, alternate expression uh, looks uh, pretty good. So you can see you got his uh, glasses, uh, black glasses, with uh, these reflective stuff on. So yeah, it looks great. And yeah, that's it for Agent Coulson. So the second main figure here is uh, Detroit Steel or um, Justin Hammer. So you, uh, you can see he has a really nice helmet here with um, the star on top. You got the eyes, you got the mouth, and uh, the torso printing. Uh, you got the Kree stars on there, and also the stripes, uh, which I guess represent represent the American flag. And you know, you got the you got like uh, some power source in the middle. I guess I'm not quite sure, but the leg print thing is also pretty nice. You, you also got the stars and also the stripes, and just some armor plating. And yeah, the back print thing here uh, with some there's some more uh, armor printing and also uh, the these white stripes and uh, the stars and yeah uh, so the face under this uh, this suit here is uh, Justin Hammer of course with his uh, smiling face and also his uh, spectacles and yeah you got his uh, confused face 
but yeah he does come with a, a hair piece which is pretty nice so yeah I guess that's uh, really it for um, Justin Hammer so last but not least this is Invincible Iron Man here so uh, you can see he does have some of these um, uh, they are the jet jet crusters pieces or the cylinder and stud pieces and it does also come with uh, these pieces which are supposed to represent the power blast pieces but instead they can make it so yeah that's kind of lazy of string on there but you know I won't be using these so it's kind of it looks really bad but you know uh, the helmet, the helmet here looks pretty good. They didn't skip on that, and yeah, the torch opening is kind of misaligned. It's not in the middle, and yeah, that's kind of bad. But you know, you get the arc rider there, and you know, just some armor printing. The light printing here does also look great with all the gold, and yeah, the back printing looks uh, good as well. And under uh, the helmet here, oops. Um, you got Tony Stark's uh, normal face, and this also comes with his hair, and you got his angry face as well. So, yeah, that's cool. And yeah, the hair piece is the normal Tony Stark hair piece. So, yeah, that's it for Invisible Iron Man. The set does include this uh, Super Jumper, which I'm not quite sure if it is included in the official Lego, but yeah, uh, it's on blue, and you know, it's a uh, crunch, uh, crunch loosen. And you know you can jump them pretty far, not high though. But you know uh, you can use it on Iron Man, but uh, you know maybe not damage his um his legs, I guess. But you know like uh, it's just a really nice inclusion. And yeah, so let's get into the builds. So these are the builds here, and just like always, uh, let's start off by taking a look at the smallest one here which is the Lola so yeah let's get into it so this is the Lola here and yeah let's start off by taking a look at the front so the front here you got this thicker piece which is a grill with the license plate on there which is a uh, Lola of course and you got these uh these lights here which is you know pretty cool and I, I do kind of wish that they made like a transformation feature or like uh, gave you another piece to uh, make turn this both of these uh, lights here to um, guns yes uh, they actually can but you know uh, you got these really long towel pieces which does, uh, does doesn't really look great here but you know it's it's all right and yeah the windscreen piece is a, a pretty nice piece and you also got this uh, grill piece right here and the wheels here they are really thin so yeah that's kind of a bad thing but yeah you got doors here which can be open and yeah uh, the the put here or the crunk uh, you know it, it can be it cannot be open because you know it, it, it doesn't have any space in there but you know you got the tail lights uh, nothing so special I guess but you got these both of these uh, timing pieces which of course activates the uh, uh, the flying mode so yeah let's uh, let's turn them so if you turn them right here and yeah and guess what uh, they don't have the stickers for under here maybe they missed it or maybe they are just uh, really lazy to you know even care about it so you know I'm not quite sure but yeah that's a uh, that's a bad thing so yeah but you know it does look great with uh, the flying mode and the bottom you got these uh, kind of jet crusters I'm not sure what these are but probably crusters and you know this uh, technique mechanism is um you know it's just very simple and you just turn them back but you have to align them um, perfectly for the car to you know move perfectly or else uh, the, these will these wheels just be like this which doesn't look so great but you know you just have to adjust them a little bit but yeah so the the interior here, uh, you can see you got this control panel which is a sticker piece and yeah that's nice and you got the you got the steering wheel, you got both of these uh, levers to control the, you know, the flying mode, I guess, and also both of these uh, cheese slope. 
and also some uh, some room for the uh, for for the figure to sit in. And you also you also get the backrest and you know some some place for the arms to rest. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And maybe you can uh, put the arms to the uh, to this uh, lever. So yeah, that's just that. But you know, aside from that, nothing else special about the the Lola here. But you know, it's just the only problem here is that they don't they don't have a sticker right under there. Which the official Lego has, and yeah, it's a really great sticker. But yeah, it's really bl bad that they uh, missed it. So yeah, that's it for the Lola. So this is the the Croyd Steel itself here. Uh, so let's start off by taking a look at the uh, uh, the torso part or the uh, body part. So uh, you can see you got this hinge piece, which you can. Uh, pull down, but yeah, there's a sticker here which matches the Justin Hammer's uh, suit. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And you can just open it up, and uh, the here is just like uh, the Hulk Buster. You can just put uh, just put a figure there, and yeah, it just stands in there, and you know, just close it, close it up, and yeah, you also got these pieces like angle to the side a little bit, and you know. Uh, the back here, for some reason, you got these pieces, which I'm not sure what it it does. Maybe they are guns or something. Uh, and you also got these uh, flaps on top, which are on the uh, ball joints, so you can kind of move them around. And I prefer them uh, to be down uh, because you know it's annoying with all these this thing just popping up and making this thing look a little bit weird. But you know the back here, nothing so interesting and. Yeah, so the legs here, uh, you can see they are pretty stable, and you know they are on ball joints. Of course, you can move them around and stuff. And uh, you know you got uh, two of these stickers, which are this uh, 77 with a star, and also this uh, Hammer Industries. Um, so right back here on the heels, you got uh, these uh, rocket thrusters, which allows this thing to fly like the Hulkbuster, and you also got these. Um, these uh, p uh round like towel pieces uh which you know i guess simulates the that effect or something but you know you also got this uh, round towel right on both sides and yeah the arms here is uh you know pretty interesting and yeah you can see you got this star sticker and on the other side is uh, still the same so this side here you got a chainsaw on it and you can kind of turn it around and yeah, it's kind of a little bit hard to turn. Wish they made a mechanism for it, but yeah, it's attached to this uh, to this axle piece, which just connects in. And you can remove it if you think it is annoying or something. But you also got these uh, armors here, you know, which you know, great, I guess. But yeah, um. The other side, and forgot to mention as well, you got these, uh, you got these little uh, fingers, which you know you can hold something on them, maybe. But yeah, this one here, you got the sixth shirt, sure, which is you know pretty cool, and they do kind of shoot. So yeah, that's great, and the studs are flying everywhere. So yeah, but you know you can also remove that as well, like the chainsaw. And yeah, I guess that's uh, really it for the Detroit Steel. So overall conclusion of this set, so how do I think of it? Uh, well, it's a great set, uh, but it's just that they skipped out on all of these like all of these uh, power blast pieces and also the sticker. But you know the main figures are great. The uh, the builds, the quality is uh, pretty good, but. You know, it's just that uh, it's kind of lazy that they skipped out on all these stuff. So maybe uh, considering wait for Bella, if you want the accurate, more accurate set. So yeah, but uh, if you want it right now, uh, you can just uh, get this set, I guess, because the quality is pretty good. If you if you are looking for a good quality set, so you know. But uh, you know, but the set itself here, it, that's what it's supposed to do. It's just that it's not the most accurate set ever, and yeah, I'm kind of sad that they skipped out on uh, both of those stuff. So yeah, overall, I do kind of recommend the set if you want it. So 
yeah, banks are this down in the description box below uh, to Alexstress along with all of my social media pages down in the description. So if you want to draw a physical alternative bricks, I'll put a link down in the description box below as well. But thanks for watching, I'll be seeing you very soon.